Hello guys and welcome to Top Channel 101. So today we're going to be making this scene here. Uh, we have a, a lot of things going on here. We have a character walking in snow, pulling on an object, and we also have some rope uh, dynamics here going on. So there's quite a lot of things we could learn in this Artrario. So let's up, set up a new project here. I'm just going to open a new blend file. By the way, if you want to get the project file, a link is provided in the description so the first thing we can do is uh, set up the character walking so I'm, I'm getting the character from mixamo but i'm going to use my asset library import him in so so let me just uh, search for the character it's just a soldier let me uh, make him editable okay now uh, if you want to get my add-on uh, the asset library add-on so it's a compacted version of the asset browser uh, link isn't provided in the chat so uh, let me see set up random colors and uh, i usually like uh, because this is a demo i'm just going to reduce the polygon count of this character so that uh, uh it animates more much faster the view the playback is much faster so let me decimate the character to 0.1 apply the subdivisions and uh, we should be good now for the animation you can download the animation from mixamo that's where i got it i already downloaded it so i'm going to import it in as an fbx format so file import fbx i uh, will just go to my downloads uh, i have the walking animation uh, you can see it's just a simple walking animation like that without skin or anything so that's what we're going to use and that will have the character use it because the character is also for mixamo you can just select the amateur and then the animated amateur then do ctrl l uh, link animation data and uh, that should give you the same animation now you can get rid of the first animation uh the, the other animation without the character so now we have the character animating so now uh, the version you're going to download uh, will also stop at some point it won't be looping to make it loop the first thing we're going to do is make sure that uh, the character is moving but it, but uh in one step in one uh, is not moving in the it's not moving forward or any direction but it's just making the movement in one position uh, so that we can make it easy uh, for us to loop the animation let me just have this on my set screen okay so to do that we're going to select the amateur go to edit mode uh, to pause mode and uh, also tab to curve editor uh, what I'm looking for is this uh, this uh, line here which is the Z location of uh, the character it's I can see it's moving uh, the character forward and uh, when I move this up down you can see that uh, the character is moving forward so I want to delete all of those keyframes and now you should you should have the character moving in one place uh, like that uh, it will make it easy for us to loop the character uh, otherwise if we have that in and uh, we go to the non-linear editor uh, non-linear linear editor where is that non-linear editor and we try to let me, to loop this animation you see he will just snap back into position that's not what we want we don't want that so let's undo these actions and uh, go back to the timeline uh, timeline and then back to the curve editor get rid of this so now if we go to the nonlinear editor and uh, loop this animation as many times as we want you can see he's animated but in one position so that will allow us to just select the amateur let me go back to the timeline set a keyframe a starting keyframe uh, there and then at 250 move the character forward i can see we're having an issue because this skin has to be parented to the amateur so let's do that ctrl p uh, to object now if we animate this move this forward everything should be fine okay let me clear this uh note remove that okay now if we play back you can see the character is working how uh, we let me change this to vector if it's sliding you might if the character seems like uh they're sliding you might want to increase at uh, the speed of the animation or the how fast you move the character forward or reduce it uh, depending but uh, i'm okay with this it seems to be fine so then uh, let's add our plane uh, or our snow i'm just going to just remove the keyframes just have it the length of the length we want i uh, will uh, subdivide it a few times i want to have uh event squares like that let me turn on wireframes so that we can see the subdivisions subdivisions like that i'll also go to my i'll add a multi-res resolution let me turn on 
optimum and I divide this so that we can see the subdivisions so that's going to be <coughs> uh, the mesh that uh, contains our snow that is going to be displaced now that we have the subdivisions uh, we can uh, turn on dynamic paint so go to the object uh, I don't know what, physics and then turn on our uh, dynamic paint uh, turn on make the plane a canvas make the character the character mesh uh, dynamic paint uh, brush uh, brush uh, select the canvas make sure that uh, the surface type is there is set to dynamic and if you play back now uh, we don't see anything because the character is not really stepping into uh, the snow so let's move him a bit down like that and now we sh okay so because our character is animated every time we're moving down it goes back up uh, that's because we have keyframes so let's tab into edit mode and uh, look at the z location let me isolate that for a second uh, grab it uh, shift h just want only the z okay want to move it down a bit so that his footsteps are within uh, inside uh, the snow so now if we play back oh, we should see some bit of snow i want it to shed smooth so that is smooth uh, you can add more subdivisions if you want but uh, you, we seem to have a lot of uh, mesh so i'm just going to reduce it scale it down so that we have more so that we have more dense particles or dense uh polygons here uh, that will also improve on the resolution of the dynamic uh, so we can see we have something like that but i want it to look like full steps so i'm going to move this uh, plane uh down a bit until one step is uh one of the foot is out of the snow and another is not in, is in the snow so we have four steps like that and that's great so another thing i wanted to do if you look at uh, the original version you see that uh, we also the snow is already displaced uh the first steps are just on top of the displacement so to do that let's add a displacement modifier to this so uh modifiers displacement where is that displacement new uh let's create an, a clouds uh we can reduce this increase the scale and uh, just reduce the strength now we won't see any any impact okay it will work but uh, you need to make sure that uh, this displacement is above the dynamic paint so that is also added to the geometry that is added to the dynamic paint so we have that i think i need to bring this plane a bit up so that our uh, footsteps are deeper Maybe somewhere there yeah something like that good 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 now the other thing we need to do is uh add a rope and a statue so i'm going to look for uh, that i think i have it here again if you want to get the asset library uh, you can uh, get it link is in the description so let's have this uh set origin to geometry to the center of the object i'm going to have it uh, let's see let's just keep it the way it was Okay, something like that i will make this a rigid body object rigid body so if we play back it should just fall down fall down like that now maybe i should decimate this as well so decimate uh, by 0.2 because i'm seeing my viewport is slowing down a bit okay something like that and uh, then we can uh, add a plane up for this so that it doesn't just fall down endlessly so i'm just going to have that there i'll uh, give this a uh, rigid body type passive so that this just settles down there like that so i think you want to do is apply the scale to this object so that it is like that now to pull this to make the character be able to pull it we're going to need a few we're going to need to create our own rope so to, to create a rope a rigid body rope what you need to do is have say a cube under this uh, you want to have a cube like this duplicate it a few times the number of duplicates you, you have and how flexible the the rope is going to be so what you want to do is uh get, get all of these cubes you have created uh, those are going to be the points where the uh, the rope is flexible so go to object rigid body add active uh, they should fall down like that and uh, now after that select one rope uh give it a rigid body constraint uh the type is going to going to be point uh, select itself and then uh, the next cube 
uh, you're going to repeat these steps a few times so uh, for the, all the points for all the cubes you have train point uh, this do that you can already see how the loop loop rope reacts and to make it so that the cube uh, this rope is being pulled uh, by the by the character all I'm going to do is select the cube select the amateur go to tap to bone mode uh, oppose mode and then select the bone you want to tie this rope to and then control p apparent uh, bone and uh, that should uh, parent the bone to that but uh, uh, because this is a rigid body is non considering the parenting uh, the parent relationship with this bone or amateur so you need to make sure that it considers that just have to uh, select the object and uh, make sure that uh, you in the rigid body setting you've set it to animated and uh, then that will make it so that uh, it's being pulled uh, the rope is being pulled uh, by the character and you can see how that works one thing we might want to do is uh, select the give this more weight uh, so right now it's one kilogram let's make it one ton which is 1000 kilograms uh, so you can see now it's uh, more pulled like that now you can see it's behaving like an actual rope uh, but uh, these cubes don't really make it seem like a rope so to make it look like a rope what, what we're going to do is add a curve object uh, like this uh, rotate 90 degrees uh, actually we could just select everything set to automatic and I just have a control point on every cube like this so extrude there extrude there extrude there extrude up to there uh, so we have a rope we just have to align it align the control points to the cubes like that like that like that and like that uh, we can give this a thickness uh, geometry something like that and now to make the rope follow uh, the curve all you have to do is select uh, the object uh, the cube uh, select the uh, the curve and then select the control point and then use control H hook to select it and uh, that point will be hooked to that uh, to that then we can do this again for everything and uh, again if you want a, a better rope you just need to add more cubes and uh, uh, it will have uh, better behavior so yeah something like that okay uh, we can reduce this a bit now to make this also affect this uh, the snow we all we have to do is add it as a canvas so to the dynamic paint uh, also add this add this as a, as a brush as well so now we it also should deform uh, that so let me just I mean let me just uh, have this little so just hide this and uh, basically that depends and uh, the weight of the object will also affect uh, the simulation so if I select this go back to the dynamic paint and I uh, just give this maybe make it 50 kilograms and see if you make it heavier it has a different you get different results and uh, yeah I think uh, that looks good so you can make a better rope uh, maybe tight around the character have the character uh, hands look like they are pulling uh, the, car the the rope and uh, work on the materials yeah I have a tutorial on uh, making snow so if you want to watch that I you should you can also check that out anyway thank you for watching uh, if you want to get any of the add-ons that i'm using uh, support the channel by becoming a patreon uh, like the like the video share it if you want uh, subscribe i'll see you in the next video thank you